If you have seen or heard anything about Meade High School lately, it is probably that photo of students reenacting the murder of George Floyd. One of them was in blackface. I want you to see and hear something else about Meade High School, how their classmates are responding to that racist act. Anusha Roy's along now after talking with some students who are demanding a culture change at their school, Anusha. And Kyle, we've actually seen that play out in a couple of different ways over the last few days. And that includes today, right, when students and former graduates all gathered at the high school. As a black person, it's not okay to see people taking that as a joke and making it funny because it's not. It really isn't. It's disgusting. So throughout the day, we actually heard about this from several students. What they're looking for right now is accountability. And they also were talking about how this one photo is now highlighting division that's been happening inside their high school and a culture issue that they're hoping is going to change. And they're hoping that these conversations will be a part of that. And, and some of this was actually discussed in an editorial for the school newspaper. It was a final editorial for the school year. I had a chance to talk to the students who wrote it, who said they were really hoping that more of their peers had learned more from the conversations and from the movements that we have seen around the country and were so disappointed when they realized that it hadn't resonated with everyone that they're going to class with. Almost like a stomach turning sickness that this would even cross someone's mind to be funny at all. Your peers are telling you this isn't okay. Like the people that are the same age as you go to the same school, just an 18 year old that goes to school at Mead, in Mead, Colorado. Like, but I felt like writing this editorial and voicing the opinions and even just like the protests that happened like a couple hours ago, it's a little bit that, you know, could impact and inspire change. In the photo, you can obviously see several people in the background. And any one of those people could have turned around and stopped what was going on. Even though we are a predominantly white school and everyone on, on our editorial board is white, we can't speak to the exact perspective. But in that youth doesn't restrict our ability to speak out, but it, it does restrict, re restrict our ability to know what will work for our community. But we, we have seen it. We are growing up in a generation where it's all around all the time. And I think that's why we weren't exactly surprised when this happened. But I think we just had to get our opinions out there and say, hey, this isn't okay. It's hypocrisy to say that one person doing a bad thing doesn't represent our whole school. Because if one person doing a good thing represents our whole school, it's the same for some one person doing a bad thing. In our chat today, one of the things that did come up with the students that are saying that administration and staff, they, they play a really important role when it comes to culture change, like what these students are looking for. When it comes to education, they're looking for more communication from the staff. But Kyle, the other thing they kept repeating was that they're hoping to see more peer to peer, more students holding each other accountable as well, saying all of them have responsibility and all of them play a role in this. Yeah, I, I think you can imagine how kids could very quickly shut down other kids if they just said, that's not that's not cool, we're not going to do that. But what about the adults? I mean, what is the administration saying? Mm -hmm. Right. And we've heard previously from the administration, including the superintendent, that was condemning what they saw in that photo. We heard differently from the students today, but we also asked the district, you know, the three students that are in that photo, have they been disciplined? But today they said it's a privacy issue and they can't comment on that. All right. Anusha, thank you very much.